And so we continue our adventures with Tumo and friends. Welcome back to Nintendo Lord Saga. This is Marky Joe 1990. All that fancy jazz. I actually did a little bit of uh, seeing this chapter beforehand, so it's not completely blind. The group of bandits was shocked that their brother that. So they decided to get rid of the guy who killed them, and as a reward, they decided to kill everything in the world, and Green Man decided to show up and be all, hey, no, you can't destroy my friends, because I'd fight for my friends! I am Ike! Meeting of fate. Okay, here we go. Our enemies are Bug and Karjiga, or... However, is everyone ready? Totally. Then get to your position and make sure we're not disrupted. W for what? And why does Bug have no other vocabulary other than totally? Why must me bandits have such shallow personalities? Well, this is Fire Emblem, dude. You're supposed to. You're obligated to it. Oh, so I get it. So the the story is that they want to get hired by Grand Bell. Isn't like isn't Grand Bell the main nation in Fire Emblem 4 that like decides to take over the world? I don't e I don't even know why you're why you're having like FE4 references in this game. It, I mean, we got FE7 characters like Kent and Sarah. And Sarah's apparently freaking Timo's sister. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it, so let's just kill things. I feel so sorry for you, Timo. <laughs> Why must the good die young? That made no sense. <laughs> okay, that's enough crying. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, while I was playtesting this chapter, I noticed something very weird. You cannot end your turn! No matter how hard I try, I just can't end it. It's impossible. Well, unless if you move all your units, but... Let me just test something, alright? Well, I'm gonna set that crap up. Where's the auto-end turn thing? Window color, auto controller... Oh, I guess we can't set it to auto end turns yet. But yeah, you, you're kind of forced to move all of your units if you intend to end your turn. It's and it's kind of like I I figured considering your vast knowledge of hacking Nintendo Lord, I I kind of figured you'd know how to fix something like that. I mean, my my Fire Emblem hack Fire Emblem. Um, doesn't have that problem. I, I assume the problem is caused by, um, it's being, like, Lin normal mode, technically. And as such, like, you didn't get rid of all the tutorial event-based stuff, so as a result, you can't end your turn because, like, in Lin normal mode, you couldn't end your turn until you fulfilled all the things that the game wanted you to and stuff. I don't know. Either way, we're gonna raise our sword and miss. God dang it, that was an 81! Ah, uh, Timo, why must you be full of fail? Alright, let's see. Can he reach me? Yes, he can! Crap. Okay, she has a vulnerary. This is good news. Heal! And here comes Oswin. For some reason, he's here. Hey, you're like totally interrupting us. Oh, so you can say things besides totally. You're not a complete dumbass. Why are you from Grand Bell, Oswin? I totally knew he was gonna critical. <laughs> so predictable. And so, Bug is dead, removing one boss from the equation, and putting Sarah in danger. I like putting Sarah in danger. It makes me feel horny. Ew, some people are gonna get creeped out by that. 
That's not true, though. I, I don't get turned on by Sarah. Well, somewhat, but no. No. Nobody needs to know this. No one. Which is why after this commentary, I'm going to kill you all. Nobody must know the secrets. Well, Timo, you, you, you at least killed one dude, but it took you two tries. Man, Timo is like totally not good. Oh wait, that's right, I'm supposed to be calling him Raven Splice. Because that's essentially what he is. <laughs> Alright, um... Something I know about this chapter is that when you get close enough down here, an event will trigger. And the reason why I know that is because... As you'll notice that when these bandits were moving before, they sort of delayed a little bit before the end of their turn. And that is caused by them triggering an area event. Now, obviously, this area event is checking to see if the unit stepping on the area is a playable character. And since these aren't playable characters, it's sort of just like, no, we're not going to do anything for you guys. Basically, uh, long story short, when you get down here, when you get into this area, it will trigger an event. And, well, the whole bandit's delay ending turn thing is how I figured that out. I probably should have put, put Timo, like, closer to Oswin. He's the... It, I'm not even gonna call him Oswin. He's freaking the. Ah, oh, crap! I forgot the dude's name, but it was the it was the Sword Knight from Fire Emblem Four. <laughs> Damn it! I am so not savvy with Fire Emblem Four ever. <clears throat> These guys are closing in. Now, this is a problem I have with this map. Um, like, I, I have no beefs with the level design, it's, it's very adequate, it's pretty good. However, um, my, my beef is with the enemy units, there's, it's just utterly lacking in variety, and considering how big this map is, um, and, and how long it is, you'd think you would have, you would try to put more variety into the map. Uh, well, in, in, into the units. In the unit classes. Yeah. Um. And you, you did, I, I'm gonna say this right now. We don't encounter anything else in this map except for bandits. A except for the brigand class. Like how the, how they all have hand axes, it, it, it kind of makes killing them um, more redundant because it's like they're just bandits. They're not even that big of a threat, N but you're giving them ranged weapons, and that just makes killing them take longer. gonna say this right now remember that area triggering thing I told you about earlier yeah watch told you I was right I, we didn't even face bug dude and why didn't you have those units out before in the first place they could have been a great help if they were rushing well a great help for your other unit uh, for your other troops mr. Karjiga not for us <laughs> It would have made things more redundant, honestly. Damn it, I healed the wrong character. Not that it really matters. The the guy on the bridge doesn't even move. You know what? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna train up I'm gonna focus a little bit of training on Timo, because he's he needs catching up with Kent. Hell he even needs No, I don't wanna Ah. Uh, that's right. I can't end my turn. Uh. 
This guy's like the ugly old troll who lives on the bridge. <laughs> Having this guy here just seems kind of pointless. He's not even... Like, like I said before, he's barely even a threat. It, th this all probably wouldn't been as much of a problem if the chapter was a lot shorter. Now, I'm just going to test something. Aha! He delayed after I pressed the wait uh, command. So that means that another area event is probably going to trigger. Either that, or the or Nintendord didn't um, deactivate the area event that triggered Karjiga to call in those reinforcements. I'm going to go with the latter. Because nothing happened even when... Timo was close. I was gonna assume that something else was gonna happen when Timo got close enough, but... Eh. Alright, let's see. Well, this is gonna be easy. I'm just gonna give these guys a clean thrashing. <clears throat> Wait, what? What? They're, they're not attacking! Uh, are you serious? Like, ah, uh, okay. This is this is not fun. Why would I have a? I, I'm just appalled. How did you not notice this? I uh, wow. Just seeing things like that makes me feel like crap. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry if if you're like, if this is upsetting you, Nintendo Lord, and like I'm being a bit too harsh, but this is a big problem. Like your enemy reinforcements aren't even functioning properly. And really, these guys are uh, once again these guys are barely any of a threat. So having oh critical. <laughs> Like I said, this would be a lot more tolerable if it was a lot shorter. Damn it. <sighs> I just want to end my turn, but I can't even do that. I'm easily affected by uh, the quality of, of uh, games, as you can see. <clears throat> Alright. Let's end this once and for all. Kent, poke him so that Oswin can claim the victory and steal your kill. Damn it! He couldn't even do that! Oswin! Or, or in this case, Ardane, or whatever the frick that sword armor's name was in Fire Emblem 7. You're made of fail! Okay, you, you need to die. Death for you! I'm glad that uh, Raven Splice could deliver. I'm also glad that his growths are terrible. Well, actually, you know what? Um, his growth sucking, that's not really a, a problem. Uh, with a game's design, really. Um, yeah. Alright, now we're gonna go face Karjiga. Oh boy, this is gonna... It's gonna be so great. I bet he's not even... Yeah, he's not even a threat. Uh. Do, 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 do. What are you, Smokey the Bear? Well, at least he can take a few hits, but that's not going to help him in the long run. Then again, Lin's Mode didn't have a particularly difficult second boss either, so... It just seems like it's pointless. Damn you, generic death quotes. Phew, that was close. Wait. D Oswin, stop teleporting. So wait. 
Timo, you're, you're just killing bandits for the lulls and to get some notoriety? You're a douche! And more awkward fade-outs. More awkward fade-outs. Well, that was, uh... Slightly disappointing. Um... It's not the worst chapter I've played, but it, it, it is kind of... It doesn't feel right. So until next time, people.